God clearly showed me that Peter will be of the Labour Party, will win. But he will not be declared a winner. Praise God. I'm Pastor Chris Isaac, the senior pastor of the Great House Altar of Fire, which is a global church. I want us to know that God is interested in Nigeria. God is interested in politics. Next to God is the political power. During the crossover night of victory, the Lord opened my eyes concerning the Nigerian election and the outcome. The presidential aspirant of the Labour Party, now hear me, will win the election, but he will not be, he will not be declared winner. Did you hear me? That's what I saw, write my words. But he will not be declared winner. That's why God said, I should pray. If that happens, he said, then they will do everything to frustrate him. Till God's rod start falling on the wicked. They will create confusion. But the confusion will consume the wicked. He said, the church must pray. If not, it will be we win, but someone else will be sworn in. Did you hear me? Are you hearing me? Remember, when God shows us something and we do nothing about it, then we can frustrate the plans of God for an individual or for a nation. The Lord showed me the outcome of the election that will be taking place in Nigeria, the presidential election. God clearly showed me that Peter will be of the Labour Party, will win. But he will not be declared a winner. And if you don't pray, somebody else will be sworn in as a president. Leaving everything in the hands of the court. So we ought to pray for Mr. Peter. The Lord showed me. He is his choice, not just for Nigeria, but for Africa and the world. God raised him for a time like this to cause a paradigm shift in the political terrain of Nigeria. But all this will not happen if we don't pray. Remember, when the Lord plans something, He hands it over to men to execute. I want you to pray for Mr. Peter Obi of the Labour Party. As the election is going on, God has ordained him to win, but we ought to back him in prayer. A lot is going on, a lot of battle is going on in the spirit realm. Hear me, all the presidential candidates, I love all of them, that's the truth. But I'm talking as a prophet of God, what God has shown me during the cross of a night of victory. He said the presidential candidate of the Labour Party will win, but he will not be declared winner. Somebody else will be sworn in. So we need to pray that as he wins, let him be declared the winner and let him be sworn in. That is your place as, as an intercessor. That's a place of a prophet. That's a place as a child of God. It's a place of as a Nigerian. Let's pray for Peter Obi. Not just him, let's pray for this country. Let there be peace after the election. May God bless you. My prayer is with you. And may God keep this country, Nigeria. Remember, after this dark cloud, the land will be green. I'm Pastor Chris Isaac. Vote wisely.